I can honestly say probably one of the few people that by the time I was in high school, I knew I was going to do science. You know, I just loved the idea of advancing the knowledge in the field. I've always been interested in science from when I was a really young child. That was always my favorite class. Math and science were my favorite classes. Those were the things that just made the most sense to me. I actually pursued science first, so I did a PhD in biology, and then as I was doing that, realized I really wanted to understand the connection between the bench and the bedside. I think what drives us all is the joy of discovery and then the potential for this to help our patients. The program in the Seitman Cancer Center that I co-lead is called the Hematopoietic Development and Malignancy Program. That's a mouthful. But essentially, the major focus of this is on blood cancers. The focus of my own personal research is on understanding leukemias. And a rare condition called congenital neutropenia this is a condition that affects children, and they're born without white blood cells that help them fight off infection. I've spent you know, a fair amount of my time trying to understand why these children don't make these white blood cells and trying to come up with better ways of diagnosing and treating. I'm actually a pediatric oncologist, so I take care of kids with hematopoietic malignancies or blood malignancies, and my research is directed towards understanding the effects of inflammation on both normal and malignant blood stem cells. And so the research that I do sort of spans both pediatric as well as adult problems. 10, 20 years ago, most leukemias were fatal. Now many of them are cured, this sort of advancement could never have happened without programs like ours and without the participation of patients. We find that most of our patients are very willing to do clinical trials. Most patients say to themselves, you know, if I can help somebody else down the road, I want to do that. They are eager to do their part to help move this research forward. The thing about research that really propels me is that it is fascinating. It is like a puzzle. And I go to my lab and I'm trying to figure out how things work. And it's interesting and it's actually fun. And then I go to my clinic and I see my patients and I see where we need to go yet. And I see the challenges that we're facing. And I see that, you know, we still have a ways to go. And that really motivates me to go back to the lab and to continue to work harder. And I think that the combination of seeing the patients and what we need to do and then going to the lab, it's really a very fulfilling process. One of the big strengths of our program is we have a number of world-class scientists and clinicians. And I think what helps distinguish our program and makes it really quite good is our willingness to work together and collaborate. At a place like Seitman, we have researchers literally going from the bench to the bedside and understanding what the challenges are. We've come a long way over the last 20, 30 years. And I think that's very encouraging. So while it is frustrating, it is sad to see patients with cancer and children with cancer, I'm encouraged by the progress that we've made and it's very exciting to be a part of that progress and to see new developments and to see patients doing better. It is important to recharge. I have my wife of 31 years and I have a daughter who's 23, just graduated from Washington University. This is kind of the core for me, you know, my family. I'm married, I have a husband, and we have two boys, ages 11 and 14. So most of my time outside of the lab is spent with my kids and my husband and all of their activities, sports, and all the craziness that comes with having young kids. It helps keep me balanced. I've been here for 15 years and I continue to be here because I love working here. I love my patients, but I also love my colleagues and I love the collaborative environment that we have, the mentors that I've had, the collaborators that I have, the ability to really do cutting edge research without a lot of barriers. What makes the Seitman Cancer Center so special is, let's say you have a new idea. There's an expert in that area down the hall. As physicians and scientists, we really have our patients care at our heart. This is what drives us. There is no other job that I would want. This is my dream job and I'm thankful that I have it.